And this is the moment in which I'm gonna first tell about my aircraft and then made in the Silver Spectre Autonomous UAV. It's 1.7 meters in wingspan and it flies a 4S2P lithium-ion flight battery for, I don't know, an approximate one to one and a half hours maybe. And for this top edge is to have access to the flight controller and all the wires included. Also for the receiver antennas to be then placed outside of the fuselage in kind of like a V stands for best reception and diversity and also to be placed inside back again for storage. Here at the back we have a 600 milliwatt video transmitter. I think it's from Ishim, the TX526 I believe. I'm not sure it could also be a TS version. I haven't looked at it because it's on the back side right here but it works perfectly fine with a standard 5.8 gigahertz antenna that could also be for storage be folded down like this and here is the motor with a 12 by 8 prop from i think gamfan and this is the 4108 size 600 kv motor that works perfectly fine with this prop and battery combination and underneath the motor and video transmitter i have this led module just put underneath the taper of the fuselage for visibility at evening or night flights and here at the inverted v-tail structure i just have as per the uh, ailerons, standard metal geared servos that also work perfectly fine. I think from Tower Pro and these are not the fake ones and they have been working perfectly fine. And the all-up weight is an approximate, I don't know, It's it could be between 1.75 and 1.9 kg. I'm not sure you would see the exact all-up weight right there. It kind of feels like 1.85-ish kilograms. It could also be nine, I'm not sure, but yeah. It's time to put it in the air and see how it actually flies. Right. And that's how launches go in manual mode. feels very smooth. I don't know if it's the tail structure, but I could tell you that it's also like the wing design of this particular plane. It has a bigger cord, much bigger uh, wing area as well. It's a little heavier, of course, because it's flying with a bigger battery. It's also a bit bigger in design, but still, that doesn't take away from its uh, stability and flight. It definitely feels uh, smoother and just, I don't know, it's, it's also a little bigger presence to fly with during FPV and RC. I noticed the controls being a bit switchy, but that's because the plane hasn't been tuned at all. It's the first flight. But it feels good. So the thing that I really like is that I have yaw control now. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm yawing the plane. And this is a kind of control that I didn't have with the Silver Shadow design. So I'm in kind of trouble now because I guess I got close to their nest and now they're angry. So they would just be chasing me around while I'm just flying on normally. But of course they wouldn't know I'm an FPV plane. I mean, they're birds. Anything that comes close to their nest, they see it as hostile and as a threat. But I mean, this is a nice, ooh. That bird better watch out to not turn into KFC because I got a 12 by eight on there. It's so quiet. I really have to note its quietness and that's because the motor and prop are a good couple of inches behind the overall profile of the plane, translating to an increase in prop efficiency, which is a very good thing. So I'm definitely happy about that. Yeah, the pusher noise is still there, but it's less raspy and loud as the VTL pushers and its predecessor. And look who is arriving home. Woo! I'm gonna Okay, I have manual mode, I'm attempting a loop. Ooh, no problem. Oof, that was nice. 
Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna come in and uh, land the plane now. But it definitely uh, flies and I'm very, very happy with its performance. Flap around and just glide it in like this. So the flight video ended right there, but for you guys that are looking for my settings in INAV can keep watching. There's a lot more to be published about this aircraft including waypoint missions I did the same day as well as efficiency measures by lengthy loiters around the home point, but those will be separate videos for later. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys quickly in the next video.